So this question is a translate word problem question. We can tell that just given the length of the question. So anytime I have a translate word problem question, I just want to make sure I'm not reading it all the way through. I'm stopping at the end of each sentence, making sure I understand what I just read, and definitely making sure to translate or write down any quantitative information um, from the sentence that I just read. So let's get started with this question. So the question says, Sergio plans to paint the four walls of his room with one coat of paint. Okay, makes sense, straightforward, nothing to write down there. The walls are rectangular, and according to his measurements, each wall is 10 feet by 15 feet. So here is where I'd say, well, that sounds like information So that I use for a strategy I call plug-in picture, which just means anytime a question describes something that can be drawn, I think it's a wise decision to just draw it out. So I'm going to draw my four rectangular walls here, and they're all going to be labeled as 10 by 15 feet because that's what the question told us we have. He will not need to paint the single three foot by five foot rectangular window. So one of these walls contains a window that is three by five and the three and a half foot by seven foot rectangular door. Well, I don't know what the door is. Maybe the door is on the same wall with the window, maybe not. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put it here and just say, here's my three and a half by seven foot door. Sergio knows that each gallon of paint covers between 300 and 350 square feet. Okay, so one gallon equals 300 to 350 square feet feet. If only one gallon cans, okay, so one gallon, but this is also one can, right? So one can equals one gallon, which equals 300 to 350 square feet. If only one gallon cans of paint are available, which of the following is the minimum number of cans of paint Sergio needs to buy to paint his walls? Well, we've been given that a gallon of paint or a can of paint equals 300 to 350 square feet. So that means that we need to figure out what's the square footage of each of these walls, right? What is basically, what is the area of each wall? So when I see square feet, when you see square feet on this test, I want you to think area because that's how we get the unit square feet or square anything, square inches, square centimeters. We're going to be using, um, we're going to be finding area. So the area, I'll start with the, the easier walls. The area of this bottom wall here is 150, right? Because base times height or length time width, 10 times 15. The same goes with this wall here. So we have two walls at 150 each. This wall here is also 10 times 15, which is 150. But because we're not painting the door, I'm going to subtract the area of the door. So 3.5 or 3.5 times 7, when I throw that into my calculator, I get 24.5, and then 150 minus 24.5, I get 125.5. And then for the last wall, same scenario, the wall has an area of 150 square feet, but I am removing the window, right? I'm not going to paint the window, so I'm going to subtract the area of the window, which is three times five or 15 square feet, which therefore gives me 135 square feet of wall space. So all together, I have 135 square feet on one wall, 125.5 square feet on another wall, and then I have two walls that are both 150 square feet. So when I add all that together, what I get here is 560.5 square feet. So this is the amount of area that Sergio has to paint. So if the most I can get out of a can is 350 square feet, so I'm going to subtract 350 from this, right? And I'll get 210.5, right? So again, this is my first can, so one can. So one can of paint will paint 350 square feet of the 560.5 square feet that I need to paint, leaving me with 210.5 square feet, which means I will need to buy an additional can, right? So plus another can. And yeah, I'll have some left over because a can 
of paint, a gallon of paint can paint much more than 210, but you know, I can't buy half a can. I can't buy a third or a fourth of a can. So I know that I'm going to minimally need one can for the 350 out of 560 and another can to cover the remaining 210. So altogether, I'm going to need two cans, which is choice G.